Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to our uh, All Achievements Run. I'm uh, Lervin. I'm going to be running this with my co-commentators who can introduce themselves. Yeah, hi, I'm Henny. Uh, I used to run any percent for this game, haven't done it in a long time, but uh, yeah. I am uh, SOM1 LZ. Uh, I routed a lot of this category uh, with someone named Candle, who's not here. Yeah. And Lervin has then proven to be the best at it, as he usually does. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, we can get right into it right away and we'll explain along the way ex exactly what we're doing and what achievements we're going for and everything like that. So uh, time starts in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Oops. We have to press a button. What is there again? Oh. That's okay, mean. All right, so here in the beginning, you'll see Lurven just magically vault up a wall there, and that is what we call elevator, um, or elevatoring. <laughs> it's uh, called the elevator glitch. And it's a technique that allows us to just go high on uh, certain like corners where um, you would normally, if you would really have a very precise angle, get a vaulting like symbol, but we can just um, walk backwards towards the corner and uh, yeah, with the right timing we will just get up there then. Yeah, so I'll uh, show off another example of that very soon so we can uh, go into a bit more of how it works. But yeah, uh, right now we're watching the intro sequence for the game. This is Voldemort, he's uh, our bad guy. He is uh, definitely uh, trying to pretend to be a good guy for now, but he's, uh, we're, we're gonna, you'll see it all happen. Um, for the start here, there's a few cutscenes. Um, we're going to give her a letter, and then we're going to go on with our very intended behavior in the game. <laughs> so yeah, there's a fight tutorial that's about to start, and to skip that, we want to take fall damage right away and just fail it, because the game is like, oh no, you're so bad at fighting, we really need you to move on, because we can't fail the literally first fight. So the way we do that is, this is a 90 degree corner, and if I just then jump backwards into it, I can do the thing that Henny described, where you uh, fly to the top of it. And this is an invisible wall that goes all the way up to here, and so if I fall right as this fight starts, I will uh, take a ton of fall damage and uh, skip the fight entirely. So now, and we're on. There's actually something that can happen here, which is called blind intro. Um, yeah. I believe we're still not 100% sure how to replicate it, right? We have no idea. <laughs> no. We have no clue. If you want to make money, there's a uh, bounty on that glitch. If you can either find a way to replicate it, you'll oh. get... $350, yeah. I think. Or, definitively prove there is no consistent way to do it. Like, it's just completely random. Yeah. Like, we've put money on the line, uh, but be warned, we have not managed it. We've played this game... Combined for over like 3,600 yeah. hours. Yeah, it's uh, just like it can just black out and you can uh, then just skip a lot of the dialogue and yeah. Yeah, it doesn't take control of ways you can talk to the Empress faster. Yep. It's pretty weird and there's no rhyme or reason. This cutscene is weirdly broken because we're playing at a high FOV. Just kind of pay attention to it, it's sort of funny. Yeah. So we have this sword that's definitely just uh, sticking into our head in the top left. Beautiful. A hollow sword, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you beheaded for this I know he's gonna behead us. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> and so we've just been dishonored, and yeah. now we're gonna try to get our honor back, uh, getting a lot of achievements along the way. First, you're going to see the prison sequence. We are stuck in prison, and we're trying to escape, and it's uh, supposed to be like pretty hard, but... Yeah. Like a really high security prison. But... Unfortunately for them, they forgot that they installed elevators in it. Yeah. They were like on low budget, so also the roof does not exist. Spoilers. Yeah, they spent the whole budget on elevators. <laughs> also, this guy was just bribed. Yeah. Because they, they also didn't spend any money on like paying the guards, so he's just bribed and gives us a key. And this door doesn't work. Yeah, you can just go through it. It doesn't matter. Just That's the only fine. time that kind of glitch is done. And yeah, we're now out of the prison. We're just running towards the sewers. Yeah. So you can just go through the roof, and now we're free. And uh, up until now, we've been doing stuff basically the same as any percent. Actually, literally the same as any percent. And this yeah. is where the all achievements part starts to diverge from what you might have seen at uh, different marathons before. 
Yeah, so there are 50 achievements in the base game. This is base game all achievements, so we're not doing any of the DLCs. Um, and uh, they can sort of be divided into various categories. So some you just get by playing the game normally. Uh, those aren't really worth talking about. Then others, uh, uh, others you get by completing the game in a lethal ghost, which means without killing anyone and without being detected by any enemies. Um, and then there's also achievements for getting low and high chaos. So the game has a chaos system, which is sort of a morality system. But basically, whenever you kill someone, uh, you gain chaos. And if you get enough chaos, then you get the bad ending. And uh, since there are achievements for both, we have to do essentially two playthroughs of the game. And what that ultimately means is... Uh, oh, this is wheel. What that means is we will at some point make a save in a late mission and then just complete the game twice from that point on. So it's kind of like a Skyrim speedrun where we can make saves at any point and as long as they were made during the run, we are allowed to reload them. So naturally, we'll get the low chaos ending just by doing the non-lethal ghost playthrough. We don't get detected or kill anyone, we don't kill anyone, so we don't get any chaos and everything is fine. Elevator! <laughs> yep, another elevator. Keeps the chain. And uh, right here is the entire reason why we're going through this through the uh, sewers, by the way. In any percent, and most other categories, you'd, 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 uh, you'd skip the entirety of the sewers, yeah? You just go yes. out of bounds at the start of it, and uh, it's a bit faster because you can skip this cutscene specifically, but we need this stuff for a later achievement, yep. and so uh, we have to pick it up now. So now we're going to get to the first part where the non-lethal and ghost uh, stuff starts to matter. Oh no, they were not nice to me, please. Okay, they stayed. It's okay, so it's right here, fine. you saw they got three markers. Uh, that's slightly scary. So they can have, uh, from no markers, like when they haven't spotted you, they can have one marker where they've like started turning their head. Is he fine? He's not dead. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> uh, uh, one marker where they start turning their head, two where they, where they stop walking and turn their whole body, and three where they just run and investigate. Uh, but as long as they don't go above that, where the markers sort of become red and disappear, we're fine. And we can see that here at the end of this bit here. Yeah? Uh, there are two check marks at the end of mission screen. They're going to be close and to like the bottom right here. I can still hardly believe it. This, by the way, is Samuel. Yeah. Hey, Sam. <laughs> We're going to be seeing a lot of him. Uh, he's our boatman for the run. Yeah, here you can see the check marks for didn't kill anyone in Ghost. And uh, achievement in the bottom right corner. So yeah. 50 of those. We're going for 50. Um, so that one is um, um, just for, again, non-lethally and stealthily going through that first mission. So whenever we don't mention that an achievement is for something specific, it's probably just uh, for completing a mission or completing it non-lethally or stealth. Yeah, it's either a free one or a non-lethal ghost one, just assume that. Yep. Right here we see why people either love or hate Samuel. So he loves to monologue. And he absolutely loves to, re to not just not let you skip any of it. So uh, in any percent, this is like more than 50% just Samuel talking. Yeah. He's a nice guy, but he's uh, yeah, he's, he's not the, the fastest pass. boat man. No. Uh, we actually have, uh, I believe, a Twitch poll for whether or not we're going to kill Samuel in the final mission. Yeah. That's the second time we go to the final so Do you guys like him for what he says or do you dislike him for wasting our time? Yeah. I think he's fine. Like, he's fine. We're spending so much time with him. Yeah, I don't know. you really go to like him. <laughs> yeah. This, by the way, is the Hound Pits pub. This is our hub area for the run. Uh, we'll be returning here between every mission, and we're not really going to be discussing much what goes on here because it's really just walking around and talking to um, different NPCs after this point. Uh, but right here, we're going to be doing uh, a little bit of dialogue with Piero before going to sleep. And while we go to sleep here, I'm going to be scrolling my mouse wheel really, really hard. Uh, I've started scrolling it already, which is kind of overkill. But basically, if I jump on the last frame before this loading screen that's coming up, uh, or the last couple of frames, I will suddenly warp through the roof as soon as, soon as I'm awake. So you'll see I'm in the bed and... Uh, suddenly well, not in the bed anymore. <laughs> now I'm somewhere yeah. else. I believe this was found by a casual playthrough or someone who was on a casual playthrough uh, the first time. And then we just tried to replicate it and eventually figured out yeah. that jumping on the last frame would uh, yeah. allow that. So now we have our magical ability, Blink. And uh, Blink is really useful. It's a short range teleport and it allows us to do a lot of wacky movement. Um, 
Unfortunately, though, we can't upgrade it and get truly wacky with it quite yet because we're going for an achievement called Mostly Flesh and Steel, which we are combining with the whole non-lethal thing. Uh, mostly Flesh and Steel basically means that you're only allowed to use Blink 1, which means no double jumping and no super long blinks uh, until we're done with the first playthrough, at which point we can go wild. Yeah, he just picked up a rune. Uh, that is uh, those things you, you use to upgrade powers. Uh, not very useful right now. They will be, though. Also, right now he's going to uh, pick up the pre-order DLCs. There are four pre-order DLCs, and we have, we're going to use all of them. Uh, each of them has three bone charms, so that's an achievement for getting ten of those. So, done. Yep. Uh, that was then, hard. Uh, they also have uh, 500, 500 coins each, which are really useful, because we can just completely break the balance of the game by buying everything in the, in the shop. We're buying exactly nine potions. And crossbow reload, and that lines up with having basic nothing. Then we equip one of the bone charms called Void Channel, which makes our blink slightly better, but well, not much not... better. Yeah, it counts as a. Uh, it does not count as a power. And here we're talking to Callista. Normally that's a bad thing, but she has a mission for us, which is uh, to save her uncle in the next mission. And uh, if you don't talk to her, you don't get the achievement for saving her uncle. Even the, even if you do, it's kind it's kind yeah. of unfair. Even if even if you save him, you don't get it. Also that. Uh, that cutscene is bugged. If you blink into it too early, her sitting down will actually break the cutscene and you will not get the mission. And it's not obvious. That took us a good while to figure out. Yep. So we just take it a little bit slowly there and we get get to talk to her a little bit longer. Also, a very minor note is we also picked up the extra like whale artifacts, which essentially increase our bone jump capacity. The bone jumps give uh, like slight bonuses, like better blink distance like the one we one we actually equipped uh breathing underwater for longer swimming slightly faster which are all completely useless yep um we're not going to use any of those things like that's the only bone jam we're going to be using through the out the entire thing even though we could even though we could equip up to seven right now because of all the artifacts but the reason for that is uh, they count as upgrades and there's an achievement for getting 15 upgrades so that'll become relevant later Right now, we're going to go to, to a doctor's office who's uh, researching the plague. And we're going to pick up some rat guts, some uh, plague infested rat guts. Yummy. So, once we leave this office, you're going to see a quite a unique trick. We're only going to use it once this run. It's uh, called a quick wheel fence boost. And basically, if I just open my quick wheel on that, I get a lot of awe, a lot of speed. And I go flying. Yeah. And then if I land on a wall, uh, that looks good. Yeah. Nice. Then I don't take any fall damage. Yeah. And so now uh, we're going to be going into the distillery to put the rat guts into the po potion machine that people use to fight off the plague because we're good people. And along the way, we're going to get spotted by all of these guys. Uh, what I did was that as soon as I like did my first blink in this area, I did a quick save. Don't die. So as long as I load that quick save none of this happened we're in a parallel universe right now and so i can go and get an achievement for getting uh four drop assassinations and fighting six people and then killing them all and then just reload because there's exactly six dudes there so i just upgraded my abilities oh gosh that's not good um it's fine it's fine it's fine no worries uh so yeah i just um did all of the fighting and then quickly loaded to get back onto our regular route. We're going to be doing that quite a lot along the route here, just to get achievements that are like pretty uh, nifty to get right there, or right there, or right there. Like, also, the achievement we got right before entering the distillery, uh, that was for traveling like 30 meters in like a short uh, time frame. Uh, we got it just by like glitching the game and flying through the air. Um, the way you're supposed to do that normally is by Freezing Wait, time. Am I out of mana here? That doesn't make any sense. I think it is the binds. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it okay. might be keyboard layout that gets. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's fine. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on. Okay, okay, I got this. I think you're like holding Control and Shift yeah, or something. Yeah. That is switching keyboard layouts. Okay, we're back on track. That's fine. None of them spotted me. It's, it's fine. fine. Uh, right now, there's a glitch called Slip Flip. I think any, any can explain. Yeah, yeah, so you can lean uh, to basically move your camera uh, around a corner or something. And if we do that and move towards a wall, 
And at the right time, then flick our camera towards the wall. We can basically blink through the wall. Just yeah, using our, our character through the wall. Because the camera is what decides where the blink goes, and so it's really useful for uh, those kinds of like small optimizations where there's a wall in the way. So in this game, like as long as you have the room to set up a slip clip and like and get the speed to go into the wall, you can go through the wall. Yeah. Also, we talked to a character there called Granny Rax. Uh, she has a question. Uh, she's the one who would have asked us to put the rat guts in the distillery that, that makes an elixir against the plague. Um, but we've, we'd already done it, so the game just went, yeah, sure. Yeah, and so we just do the finishing dialogue with her. Then right here is another one of those parallel universes we're setting up where we just get this guy to throw a grenade at us and get an achievement called... Oh, no, it just went through the floor. What is that? That never happens, I swear. Uh, that has happened before. <laughs> that has happened a lot. This floor is kind of busted. Okay, but yeah, we got it there. That's back home. And that achievement uh, shows up uh, very easily for if you just put him to sleep when he throws the grenade. Um, and so now here's another slip clip. It's uh, one of those where we can uh, just do it along the way, and it's way easier than trying to do all of them at the end. Oh no! And depending on the thickness of the wall, um, slip clips need like a little bit of a different setup and also feel like different. So yeah. you really need to practice every slip clip uh, separately. So there we pulled a lever, and that lever is going to help us very soon when we get over here to the target of this mission, I Overseer Campbell. He's hanging out in this room trying to kill Callista's uncle. And we're going to interrupt that plan in a little bit of a silly way. So yeah. he's uh, going to run out here because we pulled that lever, right? And then if we just stand behind the door, no one, we're, we're literally invisible. Yeah. Those guys they, don't They care. know nothing. They know nothing. They don't care. <laughs> then we steal yeah. uh, Campbell's gun and just go over here and put him into this chair. Because, again, we, we're good people. We don't want to kill anyone. And so instead, we're going to permanently brand his face with a hot piece of iron. Uh, so none of his friends will talk to him anymore, and he'll get thrown out of the religion he leads. And that's, yeah. again, because we're good people. Yes, absolutely. This is the non-lethal option. Yeah. And I just want to reiterate, uh, the, the lever we pulled earlier is what caused the door to open faster, even though that lever has nothing to do with that door. We can't explain why. That's just how it is. Did you the see me if I got bodyguard, by the way? Ooh, you can check. I can check. Yeah, bodyguard doesn't always show up. That's the one for saving Callista's uncle. And if it didn't show up... It did, okay. It cool. did, good, good, good. Yeah, if it didn't show up, we would have to go back and find him. It's been showing up during practice, so this would be the perfect time for it to just not work. But it worked, yep. so we should be on route. So, uh, another thing we haven't really talked about is the mana in this game. And I just screwed it up. Oh, well. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mana routing in general is like very tight in this game. Uh, pretty much every category, I believe, because you get only a certain amount of potions and you have a certain amount of blinks that you want to do in every mission. Everything's routed out very well. So if you mess up like somewhere, you need to kind of improvise. And um, yeah, depending on the category, that can really yeah. just reset. So we yeah. did buy nine mana potions right at the start. Oh, again, didn't get spotted by anyone. Yeah. Nice. nice. Those achievements are just confirming we didn't get spotted. Yeah. Let me know when you've got time for a donation. We've got time right now. That's oh, yeah. perfect time. Fantastic, thank you. We have received $20 from Loldex. Go fast and go get your honor back. <laughs> thank you very much we're, indeed. We're trying our very hardest. We're being so nice, such nice people as well. Yeah, boat rides are basically the go-to time for donations. Yep. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Uh, fittingly for either... Oh, wait, no, that's, that, that's a Twitch pool, right? Oh, well. Yeah. You can uh, choose whether, we're, whether we'll do uh, or which of the DLCs we'll do after this. Right. Yeah, there is a, an incentive going because after this, me and someone will be racing in either of the two story DLCs for this game in the no powers category. And depending on which one you want to win, you can donate for that one. Could They're I both really cool. Could oh. I give you an update on that quickly? Yeah, go for uh, it. Yep, we are. I will just refresh it. We have a Knife of Dunwell currently ahead at $271 with Brigmore Witches on $50. So if you do Ooh. want to see the Brigmore Witches, you need to get your donations in. Thank you. You should definitely donate for Brigmore Witches. It's the better DLC without uh, any doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, 
It is a it is a really cool one. We we have uh, those no powers categories have gotten really far in terms of uh, the yeah. tricks we do, and they've gotten really really interesting. It has probably one of the most difficult tricks. Like if you want to see us just fail miserably, that's what you should vote for. <laughs> totally not my intention. <laughs> we we definitely didn't spend like five minutes on one trick. No no no, no. we do, we don't mention that. We don't mention that. Uh, we got time for another donation here before we get into the next mission. Okay, we'd just like to remind everyone that you are donating. Uh, ESA Summer 2022 is supporting Save the Children. All your money goes towards uh, supporting that cause. $68,198 so far. Uh, please get those donations in, as we've just mentioned. We've got $271 on Knife of Dunwell. If you want to see those Brigmore witches, you're going to need to get the, the, the money coming in. So let's just see if we can get that. Uh, just to confirm with you, I'm assuming that closes at the end of this, this yeah, run, yeah, yeah, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, we've Excellent. prepared both, hopefully. Cool. Well, you've got to the end of this run, chat, before we can see one of those DLCs, but you get to choose. Cheers. Yeah. So, now we're in the next mission. Uh, as you can mission. see, yeah, yeah, we're in the same area that we just weren't. Oh, that guy's in Fine. a dork. Um, he likes to get in the way in this version of this. As you can see, we're in the same area, but we're going to go a quite a different route. Currently, we're in the same one. These guys are blind. We don't care. So we just went in and picked up a message. This is to set up. Uh, oh, I messed this up. I'm going to do the old setup, which is harder. Actually, I'm just going to go on the cart. Fine. Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe someone in the meantime, uh, you want to explain why um, Lurvin is like continuously jumping in some sections? Like um, because of um, the NLG? Right. Right, yeah. So when you're crouched, you obviously move uh, slower. But when you are in the air, that somehow goes away for some reason. So we move at a, like essentially walking speed when we're in the air. So we can just yeah, go faster that way. Right there, we uh, interacted with a safe. Uh, we want the code for that safe, but we can't ask the guy who has the, the safe about the code unless we know the safe exists. So now we do. We also picked up a painting. That's an achievement for getting all the, the paintings in the run. There was one in the previous mission. There are also two more in this mission in that exact same area. So we'll get those when we're coming back. And now we're going to rescue Emily, who's the girl from the intro mission. Uh, once we do so, the run is essentially on a timer. That matters more in other categories. Yeah, we're unlikely to... It's unlikely to matter. And Yay, we got the best RNG for this specific yeah, category and for no others. Yeah. <laughs> this is normally called uh, bad RNG, but in oh, this I'm category, it's actually right. good. Right. So we just want to go in here. And right now, we're going to, uh, again, be in one of those parallel universes where nothing matters. And so we're going to kill the target of this mission, who is in there hanging out uh, with Steam. And that is an achievement they made. It is... Um, a bit gruesome, but it never happened, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And so now we're going to completely ignore the targets and, and instead just focus on getting the safe code. Yep. Like, we're not even going to see the other target at all. There are two in this mission. This here is called, uh, called Retribution Skip. If you play the game, you'll know why. Uh, basically, he pulled the lever and then he just made a quick save, and now he's quick saving and quick loading over and over and over again. Each time it takes a counter up by one. And uh, once it reaches a certain point, you get a cutscene, and then it soft locks, and then you do it again, and it unsoft locks. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, one of these days I'll get it. That look, no. This is uh, kind of random, because the game does not want you to s you know, quick save during uh, cutscenes. And you can see the black bars are here, which means it has started an actual cutscene here. There we go. There we go. So now I just load it one more time. And that's the last one. Ah. No more, please. So this skipped like maybe 30, 40 seconds of dialogue, something yeah. like that. Um, so he just gave us the safe code, which is 696. That is literally the worst one it can be. Um, Debatably. <laughs> literally. OK, sure. Uh, it, is, it is pretty bad. So with that one, uh, we're now going to go and this key, and then try to get back to that safe, making sure that Emily follows along. Yeah. So the way we do that is yeah. by lowering our frame rate, because otherwise she will be stuck, and now the target is to go out of this door, and so we move on. on. So now yeah. we're going to make sure we don't get spotted by these uh, zombies. 
I call them weeps. Uh, oh, I, I think the law reason God. is they, they watch too much anime and they started bleeding from the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the extra mana potion that I used in the last mission is now coming by back to uh, uh, make me slower right here because I'm actually out of mana at this point. And so I just need to run up these stairs instead of blinking up them and then we should be back on route. Yeah. Um, so this area gives you, here's the safe, yeah? So the code is 696. Six. There we go. And I'm going to clip this through the door, because even though it's opening, it just takes a while. So we just slip clip through it. And now we uh, picked up more mana, so back to the fun part, where we get to use our teleport ability instead of, instead of uh, just running around. Sleep dart this guy so he doesn't get in our way and spot us, and yep. then go in to talk to Slackjaw. Yeah. So again, this is much like the Granny Rag segment where uh, this guy is supposed to give us a quest, but if we just go and do the quest and come back to him with the results, he's just like, oh cool, yeah, see you later. Uh, and this is all setting up for a uh, achievement or a couple of achievements that we're gonna get way later in the run. Uh, but for now. Uh, we are coming up on what is possibly the best voice acting in all of video games. Yeah. So as soon as this audio log starts playing, we're just going to let it play out, and you guys can, can judge for yourself. Yeah, it's really good. So dramatic. Yeah. Agar, no, no, ah! Yeah, so with that, we are now done with this area, and we just got to go out through this wall. This is a good example of some slip clips being way more difficult than others. Yeah, this is a really thick wall. Yeah. This is a pretty late addition to the route. It's usually not as big of a problem as it is like right now. I'm just going to go around. Yeah. In terms of mana, we have a lot of mana, so it's not a big deal. But it is kind of sad that I didn't get to show that off. It's very cool. But yeah, we're, we're trying to not go overestimate here. Right here, there is an assassin who's going to blink up onto some roofs and spot us. But if we just leave out him there before he blinks up, then he's not an issue at all. We can just go by. Otherwise, he will guaranteed spot you. It's like a scripted thing. He yep. will see you from anywhere. So as long as we just hit his leg there with a sleep dart, he um, goes for a nap instead and it's fine. And there's, there's literally just like a giant invisible box, and if you step inside, it just goes, oh, he spotted you. Yep. So this is now the longest break we have in the run. So yeah. here we got uh, time for some donations. Or messages. Uh, or messages. Of course, yes. Again, remember, we are raising funds for Save the Children. Save the Children believes every child deserves a future. In the US and around the world, we work every day to give children a healthy start in life, the opportunity to learn and protection from harm. When crisis strikes and children are most vulnerable, we are always among the first to respond and the last to leave. We do whatever it takes for children every day and in times of crisis, transforming their lives and the future we share. All of your donations go towards benefiting Save the Children. And with that, we do have uh, a donation just a second popped in. Uh, $20 Ooh. from Long John Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Hey. hey. Good luck, Liv. Thanks for all you've done for this run and the community as a whole. Here's 20 bucks for the Bragmore, oh, Bragmore wrenches. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. That does go towards the Bragmore witches, bid warm. Please keep those donations coming yeah. in. Thank you. But if you guys really want to see the bringing watches, you really have to get your donations in. You do not We've, we mess around with those letters a lot. Thank yeah. you so much, Stephen. Stephen is yep. a very good runner of this game in like almost all capacities. He had a uh, world record in any percent until quite recently. Huge shout outs to him. In one night. You've done more than yeah, also has the 100% record where you get all of the coins. I didn't mention it. So now we're going to go shopping uh, because we used all our mana potions, which was quite clear in the, the last couple of segments there. 
So we go talk to our technician here, Piero, and we use a lot of money. And we also buy some sleep darts because we'll be needing them later. Oops. That's the brother of the previous two targets. We just had somebody else to care of. Oh, I, I guess that, that, that I guess that wasn't clear. Uh, right. When we gave the code to Slackjaw, um, he took care of the targets for us. And there was also an achievement for looting the safe beforehand. Yeah. So that's why we went and uh, stole everything in the safe and then went directly to Slackjaw. It's because uh, we need to go to the safe and loot it after we've gotten the code from the guy, but before we go and talk to Slackjaw. So it's a whole, th th that has been one of the harder missions to route because we've tried all ways of breaking the sequences of that. And uh, without it, it's just, like, it's it's just a whole mess. Uh, what we have now has gotten really efficient. Yeah, though. it is a really smooth route. Before, we, yeah. we, we didn't know that just interacting with the safe would give us the, uh, the knowledge that it existed, although that makes sense. Yep. Uh, so we just, yeah, went to Slack he told us about the safe. Maybe a little tech tick, a tidbit before uh, we go into Caldwin's bridge here. Um, you might see Lurven at times just jump, like what it seems over objects, and that's what we call vaulting. Right. You can get like, uh, or normally if you climb uh, or jump right next to an object, you will get a climbing animation. And by pressing it with the right uh, timing, you can just skip that and save so much time over the course of the run. Yep. That so becomes really relevant in uh, no powers runs. Oh, because no. Because we don't have, do you have a save? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's fine. Uh, game just didn't, didn't want me to elevator all the way up. Elevators are FPS dependent, okay. and uh, sometimes the game just decides, no, yeah. you're not getting to the top of that. And then you just fall back down, because you can only stand on the top of the thing, not in the middle of it. Um, so that elevator right there is not used in most other categories. And the only reason we do it is because uh, when we do it, we skip the trigger for the guys in that area to spawn. And so we can just run to the end of it without being spotted by anyone. Otherwise, it would be faster to just clip a wall instead. So here, this is a bit scary. Got past. We're going to be really Bapper. silent here because it is really easy to just get spotted yeah. and not realize it here. So we're not taking any chances. And coming up is one of my favorite glitches. It is called Two Chains, because you need two chains. You can yep. do it at home. It's incredibly two easy. Two chains. You grab onto the first chain, and then bling onto the second, and now you're flying. Yep. Suddenly we're flying. And so that's all to get this achievement, yeah. to get on top of the uh, bridge. Nice hardfall. Nice hardfall. <laughs> yeah, I need to not sprint there, and then it's fine. It's actually uh, also kind of relevant. Uh, you'll also see him taking damage from falls. That's intentional yeah. in almost all cases. Uh, if you fall slightly farther, uh, you will take damage, but not get a falling animation. And animations are slow, damage, well, we well. We can ride around that. We can't yep. ride around slow. Nope. So here's a damage boost coming up, hopefully. Ah, oh, a little oh. bit. Small yeah, it can boost you directly to the door. That one boosts him part of the way. Yeah, so I got a little bit of uh, a boost there. That still made it so that I then had less uh, falling momentum, and so I hit that sweet spot where I got a damage cancel instead of a hard fall. This is the uh, final uh, level in this mission where we're going to kidnap this guy Sokolov. We don't actually have like a target we have to kill. Yep. Oh, I just got his key instead of him. I need him. Nice. Uh, he's a painter and inventor. There is a painting of this uh, mission which we're going to skip. It's below... There's a house and it's awful. It's uh, of the next target, and that's also why we're kidnapping him. So he can tell us who the next target is. Oh, I think I actually got this FPS trick. Yo, yeah. nice. Nice. Uh, so that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, basically, if you quick save and quick load right as that uh, cutscene starts, it skips the first seconds of dialogue in the cutscene, and so you get um, just past what would otherwise be a small conversation with uh, Samuel. And a uh, common theme is that if we can skip talking to Samuel, we will do it every single time. Uh, so we got time for some donations here before we get into uh, what is probably the most confusing run or level in the run. Okay, we've got plenty coming in here. We Wait. have received $20 from Hecky, some love and love from a fellow Juan. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Limi gives $50. Oh. Hey, Eleven, thank you and someone for taking time to explain this run to me earlier. I haven't right. run this game in a while, but this is making me want to pick it back up. Yes. Is all achievements and all collectibles a thing? Because I feel like making it a thing now. You can make it a thing. 
<laughs> thank, thank you very much. I've got a couple more. George87, $20. Good luck on the run, Lurvin. I like a voting for the underdog, so witches it is. All of these, a couple of these are going towards the Brigmore witches, by the way. Know me, $10. It's been a while since I was around the Dishonored community, but this run is amazing. I especially love seeing some non-legal goats action. <laughs> non-legal <laughs> goats. Thank you so much indeed for all your generous donations. That is an old one. <laughs> so here we are doing... Yes, I got it. We're doing a double storage skip there. We haven't really explained storage skips because they're kind of invisible and happen all over the place. But basically, uh, these dialogue wheels that come up that allow us to skip um, parts of dialogue where the game just says, that one's fine, but you got to watch the rest of them. Um, you can skip some of them if you were already holding the button to skip them from an earlier cutscene, and that one right there allows us to do two of them in a row. Yeah, there's one later where we need to hold the button for quite a long time. Um, yeah. For saving a little bit of time. Less than a second. <laughs> yeah. This Worth it. This mission Every is time. spoil. It is an infamous, infamous mission among speedrunners because it is really random. Uh, that randomness doesn't play in, but it, it is still infamous for this category because we get a lot of achievements in this and uh, almost all of them are consistent. One of them isn't. So, uh, this being a marathon, it'll probably go horribly wrong. We have not failed it in practice yet. But first, we're going to get some actually consistent ones. So, we're going to get bend time 2. We've been picking up a lot of resources up to this point. We have a lot of mana potions. Uh, uh, that yeah. one lets oh, us that freeze time. Here. And we also have enough sleep darts for a later thing. So, now we're just going to get the achievements called Hornet's, Hornet's Nest and Tempest for killing enemies very quickly with headshots. Uh, like, six enemies within... Within a second, yeah. uh, and then getting six kills within a second, and then getting four headshots within a second. Both of those with just then six kills. Um, then now we're going for an achievement for uh, an enemy to take out five of their friends, nice. which that guy did right away. He nice. does that because uh, the like flies that are flying around his head feel like a little little bit of damage, and uh, by then putting everyone to sleep first. Uh, we can then just uh, make it so they only need one tick of damage to die, and uh, therefore he does that. And then we just load right back to the save I made just before that, and we can continue our run. So we got past the pretty infamous lamp, infamous lamp there, and now we're um, on to the actual party. So we're going to start here by uh, duplicating a painting, and that's done by picking up that painting. And then you saw the gold border around it disappear. That means that the painting has just moved to a different part of the level. And so we get when we get over to that part of the level, uh, we can pick it up again. And that's how we skip the uh, painting in the last mission. Yeah. So the painting is not here, which means it is uh, in a third room a bit over here. This right here is a different painting. Don't worry about it. There's yep. multiple ones. And then we go in here, close the door so nobody spots us. Get that painting. We're now back to having all the paintings we need at this point, and now things get pretty interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna make a hard save here because we we, we need to load that later. First of all, you're gonna get a uh, wall of sparks, which is to kill an enemy using a wall of light. You can see that over to the well, you could see it. You'll see it again. Yeah. So we're gonna rewire it so now it's on our side, and then we're just gonna use wind blast to uh, knock this guard into the uh, wall of light. Oh, he died Did from he that. Die? Uh, there's a guard okay, there. Okay, yeah. There's him. It's fine. Let's use this guy. There are lots of guards. Okay. Hey, the, oh, the achievement didn't pop. That happens at times. If that happens, you just start over. Do it again. Yeah. Uh, that happens sometimes. I've only had it happen like three times, so of course it happens right now. Yeah. Well, we, well, we get to show it off not working as well. Oh, wait. Do I have a rewire? Actually? You pick it up, bridge. I'm fairly certain. Yeah. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So, he just went. A previous never seen that before. Through the, that's never happened before. That's yeah. Just, yeah, it's never happened. Yeah, before. that yeah. is very, very strange. Okay. Now we have possession. <laughs> I don't get that. Okay. This trick here is. I found it, I don't know how it works. So we're trying yeah. to get three achievements at once. One of them is called Harm's Way, which is for courting five unintentional suicides. And the easiest way to do that is just possess civilians and walk them into this wall of light, like yeah. so. Hopefully nobody gets angry yeah. at that. Right. The second one we're getting is for possessing people for most of a three minute period. So we're possessing a lot of people here. Might as well get it while, we, uh, while we're doing that as well. Yep. 
and, and we just got to make sure that right as I go into uh, this wall here uh, of light, uh, that nobody's looking at us because then they will get very angry at all the murder they're seeing. So yeah, she spotted yeah. me there, so that means I need to wait here and turn around. And that doesn't actually lose me time because of the whole we need to wait for three and a, or th most part of a three minute period anyway. Yeah. And so I'm just waiting go now for away. her to uh, go away. Go. Please. Keep going. Thank you. Quick save. And then... So there's five right. people we're doing this with. Yeah. This is number three. And after the fourth one, we're going to do a little bit different stuff. Yeah, so everything is going great so far. Yeah, um, it'll go horribly now. So after this, we're going to try to aggro five enemies and then lose them without killing any of them. Like, have them lose track of us without them killing any of them. Eh, it might have been fine, but might I'll be fine. safe. Oh, well, he hadn't spotted me it. yet. It's probably fine. Yeah. So, this achievement is called the Escapist, and it is the one achievement in this route that is not consistent. Yep. Uh, if we miss this, there are backup strats, which will uh, both later in the run and also we, one we can just do at the end. But it might end up just being an almost all achievements run. So, right now, we're trying to get at least five people after us, and then we're going to turn into a rat and go into a tunnel. So, we then need to have like five people that are chasing us, and then get rid of all of the aggro from them without leaving the area or killing any of them. And uh, the best way to do that is to just sit as a rat in here. And we're going to be sitting here for quite a while. There really isn't going to be much going on. I can explore it a little bit, but I got, just got to make sure I don't leave. Yeah. Ooh, what's good? So, Actually, uh, I don't know what's up here. Donations? <laughs> I think it's just like another room you can go into. Okay. I should go back there. Go back there. <laughs> well, yeah. While we're enjoying the life of a rodent, let's have uh, a donation. We have received $20 from Candle who says, hey Lurvin and the couch, great to see this run at ESA for such a good cause. Has always been a great time rooting this and the DLCs with you all and can't wait to see where you take this further. P.S. Everyone should come over and see the Dishonored category extensions <laughs> where you'll find this run. So thank you very much indeed. Now that does thank go you, towards... Thank you, Candle. <laughs> Thanks. That does go towards... That $20 goes towards Brigmore Witches, which is closing the gap now. Starting to close the gap. I'll give you an update on that. Uh, we've still got to the end of the run for this, so this could still be quite close. Uh, currently, Knife Dunwell is uh, Dunwall, sorry, is 291, but Brickwall Witches is now up to 170. So oh, it is wow. catching up. So Ooh. let's see if you want to see those witches. Let's get that donations in. Thank you so much indeed. So what you might have noticed there is that the achievement, the escapist, did not pop up. Did not. So that means we'll have to do some backup strats later, but it's really not a big deal. Yeah. So right now we're back to our main playthrough here where we are just uh, doing the non-lethal takedown for the level, which means we're letting this guy kidnap one of the people throwing this party. Is it the good boy that's the target? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he sleep started just a random woman at the start in the hopes of her being the target, and he was the target, so yay. Good luck. Yeah. Really really useful. So now we're just going to uh, go up to this guy and he's going to tell me that I can't walk up the stairs and technically I didn't walk up the stairs. That's so fine. Wait, did he? No, 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 no. No, that's, that, that's, that's not good. They've all spotted you. You've ruined No, they're not. Sp oh, yeah, the yeah, that's true. That is true. There is an achievement for ruining. Is this fine? Have they spotted? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I, I think this is fine, right? We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So then I'm just going to go out of bounds and meet the guy that wants to kidnap this woman in the cellar. Uh, because again, we're such nice people. We don't want uh, to murder her. We just want her to be... Yeah, taken. Uh, yeah. I don't want to think about it. Let's not think about that. Moving on. Uh, money. There's money in a vault over here. So this part is kind of broken. If you leave right away, the game just doesn't work and you don't actually get the achievement for saving her. Well, for doing all of the non-lethal el eliminations. So instead, I'm just going to go loot this vault in the meantime and uh, now leave. So we should get the notification right there and that's it. So we're now just going to leave this mission, uh, hoping that I didn't ruin the party. And 
Along the way, we're going to do one more thing, which is quick save and then get possession again and possess a fish, because that's an achievement. We're not going to use the fish for anything, but... No, that's the achievement. So the life of a rat is a little bit longer than the life of a fish, I guess. Okay, did we get well mannered? Or... Yeah, crossed. If not, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's also one of those... We ways. did, yes. We did. Woo! That didn't count. Okay, that's good. Good. And we didn't get spotted by anyone. That's I'm great. I'm surprised we haven't gotten spotted yet, because that just randomly happens when you miss someone. Yeah. Yeah, this game's AI is kind of weird. Um, sometimes it just happens. Yeah, yeah. The, the guards are very silly. They don't really pay attention to anything, except when it's the worst possible case for them to spot yeah. you. Yeah, just during a marathon. My, my favorite is uh, making a quick save and immediately a guard randomly turns around and so it's like you're stuck in a loop of him spotting you whenever you load the save. Would that be a... Uh... Ah, that, <laughs> no. that, that joke doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a death loop. Well, I guess, I guess it kills the run, so it yeah. would be a death loop. So now we're back to the hound pits. Not much going on here. We have time for uh, a donation. Fantastic, because we have received fifty dollars from El Oso Gigante. Uh, without a comment, but that does go towards one of our later uh, bid wars incentives: the uh, Batman Arkham Knight main story, the Big Head mode, uh, which I hope is what it sounds like, and that is currently sitting. For that later on that's currently sitting at 375 dollars out of 2000 so quite a bit of the way to go there on that but again remember if you are donating not only are you supporting save the children but make sure you can put in your donation towards a bid war or incentive on the right hand side of the donation page thank you very much yeah uh one thing we now can do is that after the boil party you saw us do the strat with the rat tunnels Possessing all of those people and we need a lot of mana for that So we have to save our mana potions after we bought them in the bridge and uh, Now we don't have to do that anymore now We can blink as much as we want because we basically have so much mana that there's no way we run out uh, before the end of the uh, Point where they take our mana potions away um, So we're gonna be using a lot of mana in this mission. This is the same area as the first uh, like the introduction Yeah, uh, that's Waterlock where we started. Fun fact, it was made by Anton Sokolov, so you could say that Anton, Anton Sokolov made this lock. Yeah. If you played Dishonored 2, you'll know what that means. Um, Next time I see you, the Lord this mission is pretty simple. It does allow us to show off the non-lethal um, takedown. Uh, in the any percent route, this has become a thing where you do have really MLG grenade throw. Oh, that's a cool elevator. That's better. Uh, where, but now we get to show off what used to be the strat, which is actually really neat, it really is. well routed. Uh, that guy did not spot me. Okay, this tower right here did spot me, but it's not a person, so it doesn't count. Yeah, it's fine. So Although we... if, if, if dogs spot you, that also that does count. Yeah. We just don't see any dogs. Hopefully. It's kind of a recurring theme if I uh, think of Hitman, which was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually true. There are dogs in uh, the nope in the uh, Brickmore Witches actually. That's why it's the better DLC. <laughs> uh, Knife of Dumb was the better DLC. Uh, actually, uh, I, I I I don't even know which one I'm hoping for anymore. Neither do I. So we sleeped out this guy because usually he's friendly, but we already did the objective that he wants us to do for him, which is get this thing that we're now playing on the speakers for the whole country. But since we then just went and did it without asking him first, he's mad about it. And so we sleep dart him in case he turns around and spots us. Yeah. Remember that part in Harry? Oh, that was too early. Did you get... Yeah, so the, yeah. the achievement for killing him is slightly delayed to load the load quick save too early. Now we can go. Yeah. So uh, that was the bad guy from earlier. Who, uh, we now Lord played... Voldemort. Yeah, Lord Voldemort. We uh, played his confession where he says that he's the bad guy and it's his fault that the plague is happening. Which then means he gets immediately arrested right next to where we ju were just hanging out. And so if we just walk down there and uh, shoot him in the in the back, we can um, get an achievement for killing him. Which is the only target that has that attached to it, I think. That we need to just actually kill him. So we just, again, alternate reality stuff. Go in and do that quickly before loading back and continuing. Alright, let's go. Alright, I think we're almost done with the game now, right? Right, yeah. right. That's that's Love Voldemort, the evil guy. We're done. Yeah. 
We're just gonna go and have a pint with the lads, and then, uh, then it's yeah, it's over. It's over, right? We yeah. got all the achievements. We got our Wait, honor how, back. How many are we? How, how many are we missing? Uh, well, right now we're missing only about yeah, 20 of the ones we're getting. Okay. Well, that's almost all achievements. That's yeah. All right, right. That's fine. Most bosses. <laughs> Most bosses. <laughs> Shoutouts to Harvard. Shoutouts to Ask and Dragon Slayer. Yeah. Uh, the best game ever made, I hear. So this uh, area is going to look a little bit weird because I'm going to do some stuff that looks inoptimal, but it's because I am doing one of those storage skips again. And to save a little bit of time doing those, I'm going to have to do what might look like some very in... Uh, in op uh, suboptimal links. Like uh, right there. Get on this chain. He blinked uh, next to the chain and then jumped onto it instead of just blinking onto it. But the skip cutscene key is also the let go of chain key. And if you blink onto a chain while holding it, you just jump off immediately. Yep. But it doesn't apply if you jump into the chain. So. Only if you teleport into it. So yeah. by doing that, we basically can climb it somewhat fast. Yeah. So this is we're that alluding. cutscene which uh, is infamous among runners because it is the longest cutscene in the game by far like almost 2 minutes and 30 seconds yeah and we have to hold F throughout the entire thing in order to save less than 1 second afterwards yep so when I said earlier that the cutscene before bridge was the longest break in the run I did mean that because there you can just kind of sit and hang out and I don't know go to the bathroom or learn to juggle or solve a Rubik's Cube or whatever but here I'm holding F for the entire duration of this cutscene you can solve a Rubik's Cube Rubik's Cube one-handed. Yeah, I guess. Or I could put a book on it. I've tried that before. Doesn't doesn't usually work out because you end up pressing other buttons as well because the books are usually bigger than one key. Also, technically that would be tool assisted. Oh, uh, yeah. We could make this a co-op run. <laughs> yeah. Should we? Yeah, you, you, you want to help? Okay. okay. Oh, don't press G. That's my quick Okay. Button. Okay. <laughs> okay. So F is the skip cutscene button. G is oh, the quick so key. Nice. right next to it. Oh. Kind of scary. Key bindings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, that has never gone wrong before. I no. <laughs> no. 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 I've never pressed that before. <laughs> Accident. Definitely not on record base. No. 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 Can imagine. Maybe we can give some shoutouts in the meantime. Yeah. Um. So again, uh, Candle has helped quite a bit with routing this and the other all achievements categories. Because as mentioned, we're not only getting 50 of the achievements. Uh, she's done and gone and gotten the other 30 with a, with someone. And they've uh, gotten to the point now where you might just see a full game run with all 80. But it is very long compared to this. Yeah, I gave up on doing the uh, second. Uh, like like yeah. uh, the... The two store DLCs, I gave up on doing that. Can like you did a run of that, I didn't. Uh, I did do a run of Dunwall City Trials, which I believe everybody agrees is the best DLC. I also want to give a shout out. <laughs> I also want to give a shout out to Seeker for finding, finding like almost all of the FPS tricks that we're doing here, the frame rate related ones. I, I kind of need this back now. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got oh. it. Oh. Um, I I don't get to participate. Damn. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't have time. What, uh, to what if this is world sorry. record? I will I will I will <laughs> part of it. Damn. <laughs> oh, we it? got it. We got nice. it. Yes. And we didn't quick loop. Worth it. So good. <laughs> so that saved a full second, almost. So now we're going to be waking up in another one of those impenetrable prisons after someone has put us to sleep in them. So Love they're me. going to be putting, they're going to be putting this wooden board above us, which we're supposed to break with the bricks. But again, uh, walls in this game are more of a suggestion. So this is actually a really like neat slip clip. It's like a jumping slip clip. Oops, that's yeah, that's yeah. fine. It's one of the weirder ones if you learn this game. Um, and yeah, it just feels yeah. weird because you normally just run towards the walls, and here you need to really jump. So you just saw me make a hard save there. I've been quick saving for the most of the run, but the hard save there is so that we later can co come back and do the high chaos uh, playthrough from this point out. So this is where the route will later split. So. Also, uh, these be sure to pick up twice. the blueprints, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, later, yeah, that's yeah, for the high yeah, chaos yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, there are some blueprints of the high chaos part of Flooded, and if he misses them, there's, a, there's there are just some achievements we can't get. Yeah. Also, the mana right now, the mana uses just somewhat inefficient. Doubt took away all of our potions. He's the guy who killed the Empress at the start. So we don't actually have a lot of mana, and because we only have Blink 1 and no agility, 
yeah, there's just nothing we can do. Uh, we have to save some amount of mana for trick uh, at the end of this bit. Yep. So that's just how it goes. Oh, we got the achievement for sparing doubt. Right. Yeah. It that's uh, that's supposed mission. to be like a boss fight and yeah. or or like a really hard stealth section where you uh, have to sneak around and steal a key from uh, Dowd, but. If yeah. you just slip clip out of bounds and just go through and water stream out of bounds, you can just skip all of that. It's uh, pretty useful. This area can be kind of brutal. There are a lot of stilt walkers just walking around, and they are pretty good at Why are you just you. hanging out? You should have moved like way further up by now. Bad. Yeah, it should work. Yeah, yeah, that on. one there to the left is a bit sketchy. It's fine. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, you have, you have plenty of mana. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like blink so much. So now we're going to go through this wall and then quickly uh, clip back through it. And then here we're going to be lowering our frame rate while falling into uh, a water stream. And water streams in this game give you speed. Uh, the lower your frame rate is, they give you more speed. So I'm just going to lower my FPS to 2, which the game very much did not expect. Um, and with that, it's going to send me flying. Oh, it sent me flying, but it sent, didn't send me flying to the correct spot. So I was standing a little bit too far back. And now we're just we falling go. out of bounds and we landed in some other water. And now we're at the end of the level because that's yeah. how that works. Yeah, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, very strange. Again, shout outs to Seeker for both finding the way to lower the FPS like that and like just figuring that out. Shout out to Seeker for like yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. This is a true Hitman moment, by the way. Yeah. There are a bunch of guards here. Oh, he started to spot me. Oh no, I need to be careful then. And no one was any wiser. Bye. No. Oh, that's close. Wait, why isn't this working? This works. You have void. Well, you have void channel, right? Yeah, you yeah. do have. Oh channel. yeah, there we go. Okay, and that's a stilt walker that could have seen me, but as long as I'm a little bit careful, I'm safe. So. We picked up a note there, and that's one of the objectives we need to get in that mission. Now we're going to go out to Samuel in the water here. This is the only time we can talk to him while he's driving the boat. And so we start a dialogue here with him, and then he leaves us behind, and the cutscene goes, no, wait, you're not in the cutscene, so uh, we break it. And then that skips 40 seconds of dialogue, and then we do that again, but it doesn't really break yet, so we quick save and quick load, and now it breaks, and it just starts fading us into the last mission. Yeah, shout outs to our good friend Finzi. Yeah. Uh, we used to call this Finzi's fast fade out. Yeah. Then we added the <laughs> We added Finzi's another fast fade out. Yeah, another letter to it because uh we added the quick save to the end, so now it's Finzi's uh, fun fast fade out. Uh, allegedly. Uh so we're coming up on the last mission of the low chaos playthrough. Um and this is going to be a little bit sketchy because at the start here, there's a guard who is very random. He starts moving right at the start of this cutscene, so I don't know where he's going to be because he has like 40 seconds to move around uh, before. Uh, and he can stand completely still or he can walk like 20 meters. And depending on which one he does, he can be quite in the way. So I might just have to go choke him out. Since when they took away all our mana potions, they also took away our sword and our crossbow, so I can't just sleep dart him. You can choke him out though, but that's really slow. Yeah, let's let's hope I don't have to. We've had to do that during practice. Oh yeah, that's definitely a choke. Yep. Good night. So then we're just gonna go up here because we need to enter this lighthouse. So up here is uh, the little girl, Emily, who we saved earlier on, and then she got kidnapped again. I, di I guess we didn't really explain what happened there. We got poisoned when we were drinking the beer, and then all our friends turned on us, and it was not a good vibe. Yeah. So we just wanted to stop them at the end because they were not good people, it turned out. Yeah, surprise, plot twist. Uh, the people who've been hiring us to assassinate other people to prove we didn't assassinate the Empress are bad people. Yeah. Almost like power cops or something. I'm still convinced that Samuel didn't do that. Like, he's such a good guy. Yeah. Well, we'll see if he gets to live Yeah. Uh, in the next playthrough. We can't kill him here because, again, we're doing the whole no murder thing. But um, at the end of the next playthrough, 
So I'm just waiting for a quick save. And then here we're going to be uh, doing a floor clip again, found by Seeker, that guy, man. So we did an elevator there in the any percent strat. You do a double jump, but we can't do that here. That went better than I expected. And that's the end of the first playthrough. Except one little detail. Um, or, well, hopefully it's the end of the playthrough. If I did get all the achievements, I'm going to get like five achievements in a row here. Uh, unfortunately, five achievements pop up here. And then one more achievement so pops up at the end of this cutscene. So we do have to watch that as well. So spoilers for the end of Dishonored uh, on Low Chaos. And everybody was happy. Yeah. That's the end. <laughs> well, almost. There's a guy there, or well, a girl there with a knife threatening somebody else. Yeah. So, eh, maybe it's not all that great. But it's pretty great. I mean, yeah, pretty good. Uh, what's something I want to say? Oh, yeah. That trick at the end, the floor clip. Doing the floor clip with uh, Blink-1 is not that difficult, it's like pretty easy. Uh, but actually getting to it is really difficult. So normally with agility is not a problem, which is, agility is double jump by the way. Um, but uh, for, for a while we didn't think it was possible to do like without uh, anything but just Blink-1. I posted a video of it going like, it is possible if you do this elevator you can like just bake it, but it's probably not worth doing. And then Levin just started doing it and runs. Yeah. The madman. It's, it's not that bad. Really yeah, yeah. you you keep saying that, and you also keep proving it, but I can't do it. Yeah, so we got all the achievements we want by now, except for the one that didn't pop in um, in um, Boil. Boil Party, the escaping five people. There is an alternative strat that only loses like 10 seconds if it goes well. It again has the same issue, where the achievement just kind of doesn't work always. And that's the end of the cutscene, so that's the end of the chaos. Now... Here I go killing again. Yeah. Uh, so now we can use powers again. We got the mostly flesh and steel achievements. This is fine. Oh, look at assassin. We're going to assassinate the assassin. That's Gives an it achievement an called boot chain. chain. Yeah. We're going to assassinate the other assassin. And then we're going to do a cool double blink because we haven't had double jump. But we can do yeah. two in a row now. And they're really cool. Yeah, you see, you don't get a hard fall there that way. And uh, yeah, you can just traverse a long distance like that. And yep. now we're going to get a stuff back that, that Dow took away from us. We're going to do this clip. Ooh, that's a new variation. I haven't landed on that before. And we're going to pick up some potions. We have all the potions from before as well. So we have quite a lot of mana at this point. So we can blink like madmen. Uh, so the run really speeds up for this section yeah. because now we have mana and double jump and for longer blinks and... Yeah, at this point, again, since we picked up all the mana that was left over earlier, I and mean, you can route this area pretty efficiently to where you don't even need those. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're. You uh, dog, you. Uh, that's I, that that might have been fine, but I don't think it was. So. That was. We're going to be moving quite a bit faster now, because we also don't care about being spotted anymore, uh, except for, for the achievement Rogue, which is taking out 10 unaware enemies. That's why I'm just randomly shooting people uh, along the way. Yeah, unaware means anything but blueprint. Unaware yeah. means anything less than three uh, of those markers. So we're going to be taking out ten of them. I think I have three right now. I'm really bad at keeping count on this, but we have routed it, so it should be fine. Yeah, and there are backups. Know, there are backups on backups on backups. Yeah, that one's pretty safe. So, oh, stop it is holding me, please. Though. Also, we currently have, I think, only six chaos. Chaos goes up in increments of six. It's really weird, and I will not be able to explain it. Painting. Yeah, painting. We, are, we should only need one painting now. There's another blueprint in this area that we have to get. And this is where, where we start getting all of the chaos. We need 168 to get the high chaos ending. And the best way to do that is by basically doing an, an Undertale genocide run. So here's a civilian. Oh, that looks painful. So, uh, yeah. If you, like, most people think that you need to kill almost everyone in the game, but if you just go out of your way to be really, really cool at the end, you can get it from this point on. But yeah. You basically need to kill every single civilian for the rest of the it game. It is so very it tightly is. routed. But because of the long cutscene um, right before this, where we uh, held F for two and a half minutes, nice hard fall, um, this is by far the most efficient way to do this. So we just go into this place where all these civilians are hiding and do this. Some of these don't count if you don't do it in a certain order. It's really weird. Just randomly doesn't work. Okay, I swear I'm almost done. Yeah, this next guy isn't a civilian. He's a tall boy. It's fine. So, yeah, there's an achievement called Big Boy uh, for killing a tall boy with your sword. 
We got that. I also did it while he was unaware of me, so that counts for that other achievement we're also working on. And now we're going to, again, be clipping through this door, but then immediately going in a different direction than we did last time we were here. And this is because in here, uh, the two people that we did those side quests for earlier, Granny Rags and Slackjaw, are having a bit of a tiff. And they are... Um, oh, by the way, that was the last painting, so now we're yep. done with the paintings. And Not that means we got all the paintings. So we're going to be finishing this uh, boss fight uh, in two ways. First, in the way that you help Granny Rags, and then in the way where you help Slackjaw, uh, because there's an achievement tied to either of those. Yeah, Granny Rags is sort of the high chaos thing where you uh, she's the one who made us poison the the, the distillery that made uh, anti-plague elixir um and the plague the plague is sort of tied to chaos yeah if you don't think she's that chaotic just m like to mention that she just made me make person stew oh wait you wait you no, have i did the wrong thing. no no you, you can still get it right you oh yeah 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 yeah, you yeah, got yeah. The oh yeah she's just angry at me while i'm doing it it's fine it's fine this, this should work this should yeah, work yeah 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 no, it didn't uh, work. No. Do okay. you have an auto save? Yeah, I, I have a quick save. It's, oh. uh, we'll just do it. But, yeah, it's, okay. fine, it's fine. It's fine. Right. So he just auto piloted and did the other yeah. did the ending to the other mission. So uh, that doesn't work. That's pretty pretty apparently. normal here because I'm doing the two things after each other and it's like okay I'm done with this long cutscene. What am I doing now? Okay I'm doing the slackjaw one. No, I'm doing the granny rise. Oh, it's also possible to self log it if you open this door before pulling the lever. Right yeah. So. All right, and don't kill her now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I got it. Good. So then we go and grab her gift to us for helping her. You can, you there can get we it without it. helping her. There we go. And now we help the other guy. So I said earlier, she is the like sort of high chaos choice, but the game is bugged, and killing her actually gives more chaos. Plus, it also gives money from Slackjaw, so it's just without a doubt the best. Yeah. Thing to do. This, uh, like, witch who is uh, poisoning the entire city uh, counts as a civilian for some reason. And every other type of enemy. She's a god, she's a tall boy, she's an overseer, she's everything. So, there we saved Slackjaw, so now we're just going to leave. Yep. Uh, for that point, we have to get Slackjaw's dialogue, otherwise we don't get the achievement. Uh, but once he starts talking, he will not shut up. Unless we lure rats to him. That's the only way we found to skip the dialogue. So that's Oh boy. All. We're back at it. Oop. Oh, that got me oh, rogue. Got Why rogue. did that nice. get me rogue? That doesn't make rogue sense. Rogue is killing 10 unaware enemies. So He's I a guess civilian. She was but an enemy? if you kill them in particular ways, they count as enemies. Oh, there you are. I need you too. I'm sorry. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That should be. Yeah, that's all of them. So. We do have some issues with this where it sometimes just doesn't give you the chaos for a civilian. So there is like leeway of one civilian, I think. I think it's more than that because we also kill assassins. Am I out of mana? No, I'm not. No, it's just the uh, yeah, different uh, goal. It's, yeah. 19 civilians, that's what we wanted. That's great. Pretty good. That's a civilian, so you know what that means? We're going to ignore because he doesn't give chaos. Yeah. Granny Rags is a civilian, but Cecilia? No, no, no. Nope. So yeah, here we're going to be doing a little bit of a different strat from what I want to be doing here, but we're going to be trying to get that achievement that I missed earlier. Basically, we're going to get these five people after after us and then blink in here, and then they can't see where I went. And we're again trying to get five people to chase us. Uh, and then, um, yeah, like run away from them. So now we just gotta make sure we, that we don't get spotted here while we go and pick up a blueprint that we need to uh, complete the next part of this. Uh, they didn't spot me, that's great. So please don't soft lock when I talk to Piero here. Super nice. Also, this strategy has a 100% success rate in practice. Yeah. Zero percent success rate in run. Classic. Yes. Also, this is where we buy all the equipment. This is where we need the blueprints. So right. we're going to buy uh, explosive bullets and sticky grenades and then everything that's cheap. Yeah. We're going on a shopping spree here. Our stuff will be really, really nice after this. Uh, did I miss one for 300? I did. Now we got right. that achievement. So no more shopping of things we don't really need. Uh, now we're just going to be buying things we do need. And you have spring races? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So there's an achievement for killing people. Oh, we got a We got there. it! Yo, no. First time it's worked yeah, in a run. Yeah. Hell yeah. So 
kind of forgot we were going for that. That's super good. That means I don't have to spend two minutes getting it out at the end. Yeah. yeah. So now we need to kill someone with every type of equipment, which just, again, means more murder. Um, if I can find any people. Oh, hello there, sir. Have a grenade. Oh, hello, sir. Have a grenade. Uh, okay. Have you used yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, then we need to use the explosive bullets. They uh, are weird anyone here? Okay, so oh, that worked. So killing those people normally does give you uh, chaos for every fourth one you kill, but it does not give you as much chaos as using this machine that Piero and Sokolov built to just uh, zap everyone in the area. It's basically just a big bug zapper. Yeah, it's, it's a super weapon which can either kill or knock, knock people unconscious, and we uh, we set it to kill everybody. Yeah. Just and because we're mean and want Thank you guys for making that machine. Uh, you guys are civilians, and so you don't get to live. Yeah. He's uh, also a civilian, but he doesn't get care, so it's fine. Yeah. Callista and Cecilia are the two people that do get to live in this. Uh, yeah. Other than that, we have. For a, oh no, I'm gonna hard fall. Oh wow. Oh, you didn't have nice. Nice. Oh, hard nice. Yeah. Hard fall. Sweet. We get to do FFFF again. Yeah. This is shout outs again to Fenzi. Uh, he's gonna be doing D Mom in a few hours. You guys should definitely check that out. Yeah, Fenzi, OG runner of this game. Yeah. Uh, D Mom, that's Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, which is another arcane game. Game. Amazing run as well. You should definitely yeah. watch that. So it is also horribly broken. Now we it's hope broken it's this. high chaos. High chaos. Yes. So we want the weather here to be bad, which it is. Did we like uh, ask for whether we kill? Right, right. Yeah. So there's a cutscene going on right now. We can have a quick little poll on which one we should uh, that should die, or if Samuel should die or not. Um, if that was set up. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. Um, Maybe a bit tight on time here. It might be a bit time. Yeah, no oh yeah, we can just kind of decide. We can reload the save. Pendleton is a coward, and you. Maybe be do it later. Corvo. We can do it later. Yeah. We can also just cast the vote ourselves. Yeah. In the crowd. Yeah, in the crowd. Oh. What do you guys think? Goodbye. Does he does he get to live? No. <laughs> There's a lot of... Oh, th okay, uh, I counted more thumbs down than thumbs up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, Sam. <laughs> so, I mean, he loses a lot of time. Here, we're going to snipe a whale on tank, which powers an arc pylon, which we can't see. But there's an achievement here for disabling five devices, five security devices, and we just snipe one. I did and get rogue, so I don't need to kill that guy. Yeah, you don't need to. So, that's... Four, and then the last one we're gonna do, do a little bit different. Actually, did I get? Did I buy a uh, rewire? Do I have a rewire? Yeah, I do. So that means we should now be at 49. Yeah, we can 15. check during this cutscene. 49 out 49. of 80. That's exactly on route. Right. One achievement left to get, so we just gotta finish the game in high chaos, and that's yeah. the end of all achievements. As with before, we have to watch the entire cutscene. Yep. I guess we should also give a uh, shout out to Vo. We've been yeah. giving shout outs to people who have like done things which have been part of this run. Uh, Vo is the one who found the out of bounds of sewers, which is not part of this run, but that is still a, a glitch which uh, which was sort of theorized for a while, but he oh. found a way to actually do it. Yeah. And. Yeah, it has completely revolutionized most categories. Like, and completely Vo changed. Oh, that. also, this is Emily. She's the girl we're supposed to save. No, and no, no, oh, no, no. Oh, cr crap. You didn't save crap. I, uh, that is... Shucks. It's, it's water. It's fine. She's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Have luck to the fall. It's good. Uh, so, unfortunately for Emily, uh, if we save her, there's a whole animation where she thanks us and, like, she talks for a while and that's slow. Yeah. So just letting her fall is uh, the way to do it. Speed is important. Yes. Yeah. So you can see how the Empire uh, does really well. You guys saw the low chaos ending earlier where everything was nice and dandy. Yeah. Doesn't look as well. Fun yeah. fact, uh, there is a very rare thing he could have gotten if he'd saved uh, Emily there. Because Callista normally dies in the high chaos version of Loyalists. But in the low chaos version of Loyalists, she's alive. So if you then get uh, if you then get high chaos between loyalists and the final mission, oh uh, yeah, this is because we called Samuel or yes. we yeah. killed Samuel. See this yes, change here. <laughs> if uh, if she survives loyalists uh, and you then get high chaos ending, she becomes a weeper. Right. I mean a weep. He starts watching anime. 
all that was needed was the right um, so if it hasn't time been is coming up here very soon it's the button right yeah it yes yes over the horizon <laughs> on an outbound ship. actually you got to press f you can press the button Oh sure. yeah, 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 Oh. Uh, yeah, it opens the, the so vital this is, team. Uh, all 50 of the achievements that we just got. Again, uh, it's going to say 50 out of 80 in total here, but that is fine because uh, this is all the base game ones. Uh, really happy we got everything in here. Yeah. Really happy we got to show off this run. This is uh, It's nice to show off a run of Dishonored that isn't just blinking through walls and going straight to the end of the level every time, even though that is also very, very fun yeah. to do. It's nice to show off a run that also plays some Dishonored and doesn't just <laughs> use Blink. As well as like the routing that goes into this, it's just something different. You need to think yeah. of so yeah. many things. So uh, that's it for all achievements. We're going to be uh, doing the DLC uh, race now. How are we doing on that, by the way? How did it end? What did yep, we do that is just a second closed with the end of the run there. I will do one final refresh on this to confirm, but... We have 200 and, ooh, hang on a second, that's really close now. <laughs> $270 for Brigmore Witches. I'm just checking it again in case it's changed. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, we just had $100 from Z58. Go get some witches. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I'm oh. just checking it. <laughs> Brigmore Witches at 270. The winner is Knife of Dunwell at oh, 291. Wow, wow that's really good. But close. that's amazing. $561 raised there for Save the Children. Thank you so much indeed. Thanks for the Thanks, time. guys. That's super, super cool. <laughs> and obviously, Knife of Dunwell is the better DLC. I was just lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to get you to donate, definitely. Uh, right, so we are going to be setting up for this then? Yeah. Okay, we'll be right back and we'll get we'll go straight on to that incentive. 